Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and today I shall be reviewing Orbit by Mark Parker and Jonathan Fox. Before we do this review, and it's a good one, this, this review is way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Well, the review isn't, but the trick. Uh, but before we do this, can you like and subscribe if you want to do both of those things. Share it if you enjoy this. Tell people about it. And come and see the live sessions on Thursdays at 5 o'clock where we'll be discussing all the comments. And I'll be having different discussions. I talked about time management for magicians um, yesterday. So that was a different one. And check out onlinemagic.co. That is my online magic resource course. That's me teaching you over 600 videos, loads of card stuff, a new course on coin magic, new course on rope magic going up, and it's ever increasing. It's just getting bigger and bigger, and I, I'm dedicating my life to it. So it's not something I depend on out of. I'm available, and you will learn from a pro with onlinemagic.co. Right, um, let's get on with this. This is Orbit. And uh, I, I, I love it because I didn't know what it was. It came in now. I was like, oh, what's this? I got very excited and didn't look at the trailer. Opened it up. Still didn't know what it was. Saw the trailer and went, ah, right, it's that. So what this is, this is a, it's a, it's a kind of modernization or, or a development of the Vernet um, or Vernet, uh, depending on what way you want to go with that. Vernet, I suppose. <laughs> um, Levitation gimmick. So when I first saw it, I kind of went, all right. <laughs> it's because we all know the cup thing. All right, and if you don't, if you're a beginner or you're just getting into magic and stuff, that there's a you know, finger in the back of a polystyrene cup, paper cup and you go like that. And when every time you do it, and I do it kind of as a joke with some people, but every time you do it, people go, and then they realise quite quickly. And I thought, it looks a bit like that. The, uh, the response I got is strange, and even the response I got re-watching it this morning, it's kind of like one of those things when you know what it is, you go, uh, and, but every time I look at it, I forget how magical it looks. Now, watch that trailer, and that first beginning bit looks great, and then the more you watch it, you you kind of see that, it, that there's something odd going on. The movement isn't a naturalistic movement. So that was my problem with this originally. So I was playing with this, and I was kind of thinking, it's fun, and it looks kind of cool, or does it? Because now I know what it is, I can't unsee it. And then I showed it to some people on the card course on the live session last night, and they were like, yeah, it just kind of looks like the, the fun thing. And But then I showed it to a couple of lay people, and the response was just amazing. And I didn't try and do it in a hidden... I, didn't, I was literally doing all this kind of stuff, and the response has been just brilliant. So... I know this phone means a lot to you, so I'm just gonna. Something said to me last night. Just gonna try. Just gonna try and. What the? There you go. So first of all, what's the difference between the original and this one? So this one is, I would say, it's a lot more um, substantial. So it, you can do it with a, you can borrow a spectator's phone, which I know sounds very scary, and I did that earlier on. Right, you can do it with a wine glass with a silk in it. You know, it has to. You, you can't see through it. Or some liquid in it, um, depending on the kind of wine glass. You can do it with a deck of cards, and he's got this lovely thing with a rising card. So he does. But then you notice the cards rising out. So that's and the, you can do it with heavy, more heavy duty things, and and anything that the thing can go on to. But this other thing is that you can you you can re revolve the hand completely. So he does this kind of you know he, he's doing all this stuff. So if you know it, you kind of go yeah, but how's that happen? But if you don't know it, and this is the thing, and you've got to understand that people, what well, I've got to understand that people don't know it, then all they're seeing is this thing floating and your hands moving around it. Now in my mind, I'm a magician. I'm going. All they're seeing is the fact that you can't see my thumb, so they're going to know it's a thumb. Well, clearly not because of the responses I've been getting. He does say that this is a moment. It's not, you don't walk on stage and music goes up and you do five minutes of this, like a zombie ball. I think zombie ball is very different. There's a kind of dance to it, isn't there? There's a theatre to it. This is a moment. But I think that that moment is, is I've completely changed my mind on it. Very cool indeed. 
it, it's not perfect, and I'm not saying it's the, the best thing ever, but I'm just really delighted at how wrong I was about this. And that's why I think this is an interesting one. I was, the more I saw it, the more ridiculous it seemed. And, and then I just thought, you know, there's lots of wiggly fingers going. Everything with wiggly fingers to me is a bit like this, you know. It's a bit like the, so when you're floating someone or doing something, this, it just felt so odd. And I'm thinking, when am I going to do that? And that was what I was going to plan to say in this review. I was like, yeah, very good. It looks good. But when am I going to do it? And clearly, again, I was wrong. You just do it. Because I've noticed that they're perceiving, they're looking at what's going on and they're misdirected from the sort of dodgy bits of the, the thing to actually try, their brain just kind of can't work it out because of the way you, it just all of a sudden starts happening. So it's way more magical than I thought it was. Other reasons it's not perfect is because of angles, clearly. Now, as he says in the download, you can step back, and Eric Jones talks about this a lot. We all get so worried about angles. But in a lot of situations, actually, if you step back, those angles kind of decrease, increase, depending on what side you're coming from. And you can get away with a lot more than you think. And actually, in, in the office and when I've done it, I've had to kind of step back. Now, if I was surrounded in a social engagement, it would be a little bit different. I, I was worried about kind of how well it would work and if things were in danger. It seems to be pretty robust. Like, so with other people's phones, that seems to be really good. Getting the thing in and out of play, that was my other big thing. I was thinking, right, this is quite a chunky bit of kit. And obviously, in my mind, and again, I was so wrong. The heat is on the thing. The heat, when you're doing this, the heat is on your hands, right? And so they're going to be going, well, all right, well, there's got to be something, so I'm going to keep an eye open here. Now, they would if you did it for too long. But what I found, and actually what he says, and I, I almost didn't believe him, I thought, no, surely, is that the, they respond and start laughing because it is funny. It's something, this really weird thing. And almost, and it's very easy to, so actually, they're not looking where you think they're going to look. They're kind of looking at each other and going, what's going on? They're kind of reacting in that way. So actually, I found that when I did it, getting the thing out was completely fine. I'm borrowing the phone, so that's fine. Uh, and then when I get rid of it, there's just no heat on it. It really surprised me. Um, and this is the, what you get it in is also a belt clip. And it's really important, actually, because you can have this ready to go. And what he does is he brings it, he uses it to bring it into play and then just ditches it in a pocket to get it out of it. And that's completely fine but I've actually found that really I thought it was a little bit of a gimmick really and I found it really useful the thing is well made it does what it says in on the kind of plastic 3d printed tin which is actually very sturdy uh, and I can't really find that much bad about it other than this fit this if you can get your head around that and the fact that it's almost I'd say it's almost like a gag but it is actually genuinely magical um, so it's not like I'm not saying like it's just amazing but I just I think magicians are going to look at this and just go, no, this looks too weird, or some magicians are, and then the people that have actually used it are going to go, actually, this is cool. And like he says, Nick, he goes, you're going to walk around the house and just pick up different things. And I think you do, you, you do kind of want to do that. I was, I'm having so much fun. But I just want to be sort of talking to people and go, Whoop. and I do, I do like the idea of it, by the way, of being, you don't have to be a levitation. It's almost this thing of something getting away from you. You know, there, there's, there's some quite, Powerful potential, actually, in little bits of mime. Again, moments, but very magical. Whoa, you, just, you know, there's things getting away from you and you pulling them back and then just carrying on. So it's a good product. It's a good bit of kit. It's an honest bit of kit. It does the thing really well. I can't talk about what it's going to be like after three months because I haven't played with it as much. But um, I am going to play with this. I'm going to a party tomorrow. I'm going to have that in my pocket because I can't wait to just go kind of every now and then just do something with it. Uh, and of course, it's a borrowed phone, which is which is always great. There's some great stuff he's got, by the way, using the camera of the phone. And so you, so the camera's on, and as you hold your fingers like this, you can see your fingers. The camera's got your fingers in, but they can't see the gimmick. Uh, and he talks about maintenance. He talks about the prototypes they went through. So there has been a lot of thinking. It's kind of proof they've gone through a lot of work. And incidentally, it came up, uh, the idea came around... Um, Mark was working on Ghost, the, the theatre production, and they wanted him to levitate a coke can, but it needed to look decent and look proper, and he wanted to, his hands to be able to go all around it, really. Uh, and that's where it came from. So it came from kind of a real-world situation, which I quite like. But, uh, but a big surprise for me, a really cool little thing. Uh, that's Orbit, and please use the links below. Thanks, uh, Murphy's Magic, for sending that to me. And... Uh, and have a good one. And let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And it, I think it's, a, it's an interesting discussion. 
So please like and subscribe if you like and you want to subscribe to it. Please share it if you like it. Tell people about it and, um, and do comment below and I'll be answering those comments on the Thursday live shows at five o'clock. Do come along to them. They are, they're good fun and, and I really, really enjoy them. I'll be waffling. That actually might not be happening in the next couple of Thursdays, uh, but keep an eye on the, the, the notifications for that. All right. Have a great one. Oh, did I say go and see onlinemagic.co? That's the next job. Go and do that now. All right. Cheers.